Today we'll be talking about Antoine Lavoisier. Lavoisier was a very interesting character. He was born into a very wealthy family, which allowed him to pursue his goals of becoming a, a uh, scientist. He discovered many very important things. He's known as the father of modern chemistry. But what, what we'll be talking about today specifically is his research that eventually led up to the principle of conservation of mass. The experiment I have before me is very simple. It's what we call electrolysis. What ha what's happening in it is that the water inside the Tupperware is being broken down into its key elements, which is oxygen and hydrogen. Now, Lavoisier was not able to conduct an experiment quite like this because, of course, during the 1700s, they didn't have electricity, and this experiment requires it. Now, the way the experiment works is electricity is pumped into two electrodes, which are placed underneath the test tubes you see there. What happens is electricity passing into the water breaks it up into hydrogen and oxygen. Now, you can see one test tube has considerably more gas in it than the other. The reason for this is obvious. In the formula H2O, we notice that water has more hydrogen than oxygen, which means on the outcome that there's twice as much hydrogen as there is oxygen. What Lavoisier proved, though, is that even though I'm now breaking the, the water down into hydrogen and oxygen, if I was to take that hydrogen and oxygen and recombine it, I would actually have the exact same amount of water that I started with. This is one of those experiments that you can try at home. It's very simple to do. All you need is a small cup, or in this case a Tupperware, with some water in it and a little bit of salt dissolved inside the water, and then two pencils that you sharpen on either end make the electrodes, which one end of the pencil you place underneath the test tube, and on the other end you just attach a wire. Now, you need to send about 9 to 12 volts to the wire to get this kind of result, um, but do be careful because the hydrogen is highly flammable, as we can show here. Let's see, this may or may not work. Our next experiment is one that Lavoisier called decomposing steam. The experiment was very simple. It was composed of four primary parts. First, a test tube that boiled water, connected to a copper pipe that was being heated over hot coals, in this case a candle, then a condenser, and then a small collection test tube. So first, water boiled in this test tube, where it traveled up this tubing to this copper pipe. What happened is, as the steam traveled through this copper pipe, it turned into verdigris around the pipe, uh, freeing up some of the uh, hydrogen, because the oxygen was combining with the copper. The rest of the steam then traveled into this condenser, where it then turned back into the water and collected in this test tube here. The trick to this whole system was the fact that as the steam traveled through the copper pipe, it created verdigris, or that green color that you see in copper if it oxidizes. So then, when it collected back down here, what you had was slightly less water, but freed up hydrogen. The hydrogen would then want to collect at the top of this test tube, where he could collect it off of this tube here, or he could burn it off to prove his point. Lavoisier found that the extra weight of the copper pipe plus the water that he collected plus the hydrogen he collected equaled the amount of water he originally boiled, which showed once again that matter can neither be de created nor destroyed. This seemingly overly complicated method of collecting hydrogen was Lavoisier's 1700 solution for getting hydrogen which, in the long run, is actually very ingenious. So in conclusion, we find that Antoine Lavoisier had a very important part in creating the modern atomic theory. He had the fact that he created the whole concept of conservation of matter. Through his experiments of decomposing steam, we see that he was able to break down water into hydrogen and oxygen, and in other experiments, he was able to recombine them, proving that matter is neither created nor destroyed. But anyways, thank you for joining me for a chem video about Antoine Lavoisier. Hope to see you soon.